Hey guys, 420C in here. Hope everyone's having themselves a super, super stony. I got two supers up in there. Let me know what you're talking on and where you're watching the video from. I always like to know. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and if you want access to all my secret, unlisted, grow and smoke videos, check us out on Patreon. I'm gonna have the link in the upper right hand corner over here. Today we're gonna be kind of switching things up a little bit. We're gonna be talking about popcorn buds, and I've never made a video on this. And honestly, I think it's a really great topic to cover, especially if if you're a beginner. I know it can be frustrating after you do a run for three to four months and then you got all these popcorn nuggies and it's kind of like, what the fuck, man? Also, sidebar real quick, someone from the comment section in last week's video brought up something really interesting. Sidebar real quick, someone from the comment section in last week's video brought up something really interesting, at least I think it's really interesting. Apple Betty is almost like a GG4, Gorilla Glue number four, in case you don't know what that is. So if you're familiar with GG4's lineage, it's a cross between Chocolate Diesel, Sour Dub, and Chem Sister, but Apple Betty, on the other hand, it's a cross between Chocolate Diesel instead of Sour Dub, Sour Apple, and Chem Sister, and I'm a real, <laughs> I'm a, you guys already know, I'm a really big fan of GG4, and I didn't even realize it, so shout out to Smelly Jelly Biscuits for that comment. I thought, I thought that was a really great comment. Heck, I didn't even think about it this entire run, man. Those of you that don't know what Popcorn Nugs is, because, I don't know, Maybe you're a beginner and this is like your first run, so you don't really, you know what I mean? You don't have anything to compare anything to. So in case you don't know what they are, they're like the flowers on the bottom of your ladies. They're usually not very developed, kind of, it's just, I like, it literally looks like popcorn, which is how it got its name. Now, if you have been doing this for a long time and you're still getting popcorns, I'm just gonna call them popcorns from now on. I don't know if YouTube is gonna try to pop me for saying the other word, but anyway, if you have this kind of an issue, don't worry. Sometimes it does happen to the best of us, but we're gonna talk about some things that cause you to get those popcorns, so that way you can minimize the chances of getting it. Essentially, it's just physically viewable wasted energy. The first cause of getting popcorns is probably the easiest way to avoid it and it's overcrowding. This is kind of like a no-brainer for all you veterans out there. Like when your leaves are taken over and it's blocking light from reaching the bottom of your ladies pretty much. So it's gonna grow flowers out but because they're not getting enough light they're just you know, they're just gonna grow kind of shitty. And this is exactly the reason I love mainlining, guys. The best way to avoid overcrowding is obviously gonna be defoliation, but when you do the mainline technique, you have more control than with just regular LST and topping kind of training. Just because right out the gate, you're getting rid of all the growth except the top. So as your ladies grow, you can keep maintaining how many nodes you want them to be. And this can get kind of overwhelming if you're lazy and not paying attention in the flowering stage because that's where your ladies really start forming that bottom branching, also known as that final stretch. They get new branching going on and then, you know, two, three weeks in, you're like, wow, what's going on down there? What's with all that branching, bro? So that's why you gotta keep paying attention to that bottom growth. That's why when you mainline, I always mention to keep the top three or four nodes just to get rid of everything else because it's just not necessary to keep all that stuff. Obviously, you can only pull this off if you're doing photos. Another way you can get popcorn nuggies is from stress. Obviously, duh, kind of a no-brainer here, but if you're a beginner, you're not really focusing as much until you're pretty much done and it's kind of like, fuck, man, I should have kept up with it, bro. When I'm talking about screwing up, I'm talking about like when you mess up your training, overwatering underwatering your humidity levels are off it's too hot in your grow space that kind of shit will get you the popcorns don't get me wrong though popcorns will still get you faded perfectly fine even though they're underdeveloped they'll definitely you know they'll you'll still get faded all right but they're just kind of a pain in the ass when you're trimming it and i mean it's just really annoying it's a whole lot of work for nothing i don't know about you guys but i love trimming those nice big size dense super dank colas it's just so much easier i usually just keep the popcorn nuggies for when Britt makes those edible goodness treats with her magical butter machine if you want a magical butter machine just go on amazon it's like 200 dollars. at least it was last year when i bought it for Britt. of course mainlining is going to work to avoid getting popcorns defoliation like i said which is still technically part of when you're setting up your main line and you just you just pretty much defoliate as you go keeping the top three or four nodes of course you can use a trellis net and keep all your tops up there and you know it's going to make it a lot easier to look at your bottom so you know what to take off like when you got the trellis net everything is just kind of chilling up top 
and you want the whole bottom to be just straight dead ass bare. The only thing you really want to see at the bottom is just a bunch of branches. And here's the thing though, guys, you don't need, I'm not trying to tell you, you have to go out and buy a trellis. You got to make a trellis, but it's just easier to use as a visual reference because it pretty much just exposes your tops. Whereas without a trellis, your tops aren't really that organized and spread out. Plus by spreading out your ladies, you'll know for sure that your light is hitting every main flower top that it needs to. So look at popcorns this way. That's extra weight that could have been on your main flower top but instead, this is what you have. You know, I'm, popcorn is what I'm pretty much saying. So like I said in the beginning of the video, it's the equivalency of wasted energy, which means wasted product. I know this video wasn't as long as a lot of my other videos, but you know, there's really not much other stuff to talk about when it comes to the popcorns. And hopefully this video kind of sticks out when you're doing your next run or even your current run. See, there isn't a crazy amount of tips when it comes to the popcorns, but that way, it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys to figure out, okay, I shouldn't have, you know, don't overcrowd, keep the environmental conditions good, practice your watering techniques, and you shouldn't have a problem. Yeah, 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 I know, it's a lot easier said than done, right? So it's kind of a recap, make sure to spread your ladies out, start practicing the mainline technique that I've been showing you guys in a lot of my past videos, keep the environmental conditions good, don't stress your ladies, unless, of course, it's purposely done, good stress is always acceptable. As far as mainlining, if you're new on here and you don't know what it is or you don't really feel too comfortable with trying it just yet be sure to check out the apple betty being the harvest video that i did on 420 it was kind of a special that i did on thursday i know i don't upload on thursdays youtube did not push this video out so definitely check it out and the reason i tell you to check it out specifically in this video is because there are clips where i'm explaining how to do the mainlining technique while i'm actually doing it in a first person angle so definitely check it out after this video mainlining will definitely change your life especially if you have an issue with popcorns so that's going to wrap up today's video. But before I close out today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen for supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support. To everyone else, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope everyone has a great rest of their week and we'll catch up on Friday. And as always, you know the drill. Stay safe. Peace.